In this video, we'll be taking a look at some alternative methods for programming drum sounds. We'll be looking at how we can use an arpeggiator to create some shuffly hi-hat patterns, and we'll also take a look at using Logic's drummer plugin to create some quite interesting drum fills for this project. So I've got a hi-hat sample loaded down here. And I'd like to use this to create an interesting shuffly hi-hat rhythm to go along with the rest of the sounds we've got. And a method for doing this and creating some quite interesting rhythms is to use an arpeggiator. So I'm going to start by extending this note of my drum sample to extend to the length of a bar, solo up my hi-hat sample, and now load an arpeggiator from my MIDI effects. Default mode is just going to trigger it at a rate of 16th notes. We can change this, of course. However, if we access the grid mode on Logic, select the number of steps to 16, we can start to program a hi-hat, a bit like a step sequencer, and create some quite interesting, funky, shuffly rhythms. click and drag to turn those on or off and also set velocity. Also go into the options panel here and apply swing. And very quickly come up with some very interesting rhythms. I've only used 16 steps here, but Logic's arpeggiator goes up to 128. And very quickly you can get some quite interesting drum patterns down using this technique. So I'm going to look at another alternative technique here for programming drum sounds and that's using Logic's drummer plugin. And say with this project, I wanted to create some drum fills and wanted to use maybe a slightly more intuitive way to achieve this rather than any complex programming or step sequencing using a hardware controller. I load up an instance of Logic's drummer here. By default this rock drummer will load. We could change this to something more electronic or hip hop based. Load in one of these drummers. We get maybe something a bit more usable. We increase the fills. Where this gets really interesting is when we swap the drum machine out for one of our own drum machines. At the moment Ultra Beat is triggering that rhythm, so it's all samples from inside Ultra Beat, but we can swap out Ultra Beat for another drum machine. So I use drummers on D16 drummers on which is a 909 emulation. Hopefully the sound should fit this groove quite well. I just need to on this instance of drummers on, turn off internal sync and internal sequencer as the sequencing is being applied by the drummer region and the sync is our host sync here. So now I'm using that drummer region to trigger these 909 sounds. if I wanted to edit that MIDI a little bit further, you can right click on this drummer region, convert to MIDI region, and then you have all the sounds in here where you could edit them further. 
That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Any questions, please get in touch. And thanks for watching.